Jay Armstrong is a recently retired honors English teacher. He has a new book out, Bedtime Stories for the Living. Uh, but he would spend two days with his honors English class breaking apart the song Thunder Road. They would look at the lyrics. They would talk about the themes of the song. And at the end of the two days, he would ask the question, does Mary get in the car? Your homework, Sia, hopefully you did. If not, I will edit all this out, is to listen to Thunder Road and then answer the question, does Mary get in the car? So I have listened and I have taken notes. I had my initial impression and then I was like, hmm, there's something deeper on this because this guy's got like, you know, 50,000 like letters and words. Let me reread it and reevaluate. So my first gut and impression was she doesn't go with him. And I actually was thinking more along the line, just some of the words were just like, mm, the boys you sent away, like just the fact she kind of played hard to get. And then I thought about it and I reread it and some of the lines really jumped out at me. So I was like, maybe I need to like Shakespeare this out a little bit more. And so I couldn't help but think of, and this is so bad. I'm going to reference another song, movie, whatever, Grease. Okay. Remember at the very end where they go and they, they get in the car after the fair and then they, yeah. she floats away off into the, the sunset. Well, there's like a theory that she died and she never they never, she died on that beach when he saved her. Right. That she was in heaven. This is like just her final thoughts before she was off to heaven. And I got that same vibe after reading the lyrics on this. And the reason why I say she does end up going with him is because I'm wondering if he is like a, like angel taking her away because he says the door's open, but the ride, it ain't free. And then he was talking about the, but tonight we'll be free. All the promises will be broken. So non-committal, And then he uses the word ghosts right after up in the follow. So again, I'm already getting a vibe of passing. And then he starts using these like passing type words, ghosts, haunt, skeleton. And so in my mind's eye, this song is about, hey, you've had a lovely life. He said you were pretty before. You're all right now. I think this song is about uh, crossing over and he's escorting her to the other side. And uh, so she does choose to go with him too to uh, move on to a future life in heaven. I, I absolutely adore that answer. That is, I've never had that one before. And that is absolutely amazing, right? Um, you know, don't run back inside, darling. You know what I'm here for. You know, so you're scared and you're thinking that maybe we aren't that young anymore. Show a little faith. There's magic in the night. I, I, I absolutely love that, that this is... Um, you know, Angel. one of my one of my favorite songs is Sarah Hickman, you know, from Austin, the musician, you know, and uh, Chet Brodsky does a song, uh, We Are Each Other's Angels, mm -hmm. and there is, and we meet when it's time. I, I absolutely love the idea that um, the singer of the song is an angel and coming to take her home. That That's, I mean, that's some deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, people, I know I am like really like a spaz and I know, and like, by the way, I have not had any coffee or alcohol. I'm just kind of like this naturally, but I've been told not to drink any uh, <laughs> coffee, but I don't know why it just, every now and then some things will come out to me and, you know, it's my deep moment. And uh, this is like this song really kind of the more I kept listening and reading the words, I'm like, holy crap. I think he's the angel of death bringing her home. And I think when you said, and that was an interesting dish, does Mary go with him? I was like, wait a minute, is this like a, like a test? And then yeah. I was all proud of myself. Cause I was like, I think I nailed it. I think I got this. So anyway. No, uh, um, Jay was on the podcast, like my first year and he talked about this, you know, he did a class and I was first off, I wish I had attended that class, right? I would love to be in your English class. And uh, so I, I started asking it with everyone. Uh, about 60% of the people say, yes, she gets in the car. About 40% say she doesn't. Uh, there's been uh, a lot of different answers. One of my favorite is another podcaster, Bex, had never heard the show song, didn't play the song, just read the lyrics and said that, oh, my God, if she gets in the car, he's going to kill her. 
she read them as if he was threatening her and that you know uh and so it it she was she was hilarious because she was like you know she read the song and made it all this nor you know this murder mystery so um yes can i just say one other thing so sure. i've been getting into body language yeah a lot lately so if you're ever bored or you and your wife ever want to have a lively debate with one another check out the behavior panel on okay YouTube. okay I actually interviewed one of the guys. These are behavior panel experts. And maybe because I've been hanging here and watching all their videos on stuff, that maybe my perspective um, is skewing, right? The way, and I think that's how lyrics are in general, right? Oh, it's absolutely. Your head spaces at that point, mm -hmm. how you receive it. So Bex, I hope she's okay. Yes. Um, and I hope it's, uh, you know what? She sounds like someone that's a very... Um, like you, she's aware of her surroundings and that it's yeah. like, you can't trust, you know, where I'm saying, don't fear the reaper. Another great yeah. song. Uh, I yes. think she's saying, you know, <laughs> heck no. <laughs> yeah. Well, her, her podcast is, um, she came, uh, she is, uh, an academic okay. and her and her husband have a two-year-old. And so they started the podcast. And so they look at children's material from an academic perspective, because that was the only way they could stay sane at the 50th time they've watched, you know, uh, Frozen. <laughs> so, yeah. so she overanalyzes stuff and she goes, and that's, that's our shtick, right? So uh, that's why I read that. This is great. Um, if someone wants to reach you, what's the best way to do it? Don't. I'm kidding. Okay. No, no. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm actually, I live on LinkedIn. So you can always find me on LinkedIn. Literally, you guys, just if you just Google S Y Y A space podcast, I swear to God, you'll, I will pop up. There's not a lot of S Y Y A's in the world. Um, so you can absolutely reach me, but I'm typically on LinkedIn. I, I'm not big of a, I'm not a tweeter too much. I'm not yeah. that much. I'm, I kind of have a love hate relationship with that. Um, but I am at, I am S Yasso. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can always find me on LinkedIn. That's pretty much because my business is in um, my business is focused on business so you'll always find absolutely me. very nice or if you're really bored you can find me on facebook okay which is where you and i connected i know wait shout absolutely. out to the uh, podcast movement community yes indeed absolutely listeners i hope you've enjoyed this conversation um listeners stay safe go get vaccinated go get boosted and let's all be kind to each other because that's the only way we're going to get through this thank you see ya. thank you listeners we'll talk to you soon Goodbye.